Hi everybody, my name's Tom Lydia and I'm the service manager for Change, Grow, Live who deliver drug and alcohol treatment services here in Waltham Forest. Um, before I take you on a little tour of the service and tell you a little bit about what we do, um, I just want to say thank you really for taking the time to look at this video and I really hope it's um, able to give you some insight into what we do here. So as I said, my name's Tom, I'm the services manager um, and this is our service. Um, this is the entrance to our service. Um, and I'm really proud of this because it really celebrates what we do. Um, service users have created this welcome board. Um, as you can see, Welcome to Change, Grow, Live. Um, we've got all the groups outlining what goes on, all the activities that people can get involved with as part of their ongoing recovery journey. We've got a range of sessions on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as you'd expect, to help people start to reconnect with each other. We've also got some service user testimonials. So that's people who are involved with the service user involvement group. Um, who are in recovery and are telling their story as a way of inspiring and giving hope to others. Uh, there's a statement within the recovery field that says, if we make recovery visible, we make it possible. So when people see, people do, and it gives people hope. Um, we've got our timetable, both our face-to-face -face timetable um, and our online timetable, um, just to try and keep people connected and keep them involved. Yeah, and if you'd like to come through, I can take you through into, into our waiting area. So clients would come through there, they would get themselves signed in, get a cup of tea, get a cup of coffee, and then they'd come in th through into our kind of nice open waiting room. We've got TV there so people can watch TV and also um, get some of the harm reduction messages as they wait uh, to see their practitioner, their, 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 their recovery worker, or to see the doctor or the nurse. Um, so just a little bit about the service. CGL are a not-for-profit charity. Um, we're commissioned by uh, Waltham Forest Council and Public Health England and we work really closely within the wider drug and alcohol strategic group and the health and wellbeing board. Um, and our key objective really is to provide an open and accessible service for all members of the community, and no matter what their age, their race, their creed, their identity, sexual identity, financial status, we want to provide a service that everybody feels a part of and feels welcome to attend. I also really wanted to kind of say that we understand at CGL how difficult it can be when you have a family member or somebody that you love or somebody that you care about maybe struggling with a problem with alcohol, with, um, um, with drugs, with gambling or other addictions. Um, we know the impact that this has on the family. Part of the wider strategic board within Waltham Forest, not just in the drug and alcohol provision, is to take a think family approach. Um, one of the interesting statistics is that um, for every individual that's using drugs and alcohol, there will be 10 people directly affected in a negative way. You know, for every person, there's 10 people negatively affected. But the flip side of that is when that person gets well and starts to recover, there will be 10 people positively affected. So this is a confidential service. Everybody's welcome. We can work with you wherever you're at, on the phone, online, or in, or in the service. When service users come into the service, um, we'll do a comprehensive assessment, and where need be, uh, they might need to see a doctor or a nurse as part of their treatment. So that might be an opportunity to walk you through into our doctors and nurses space. Um, we've got a fully equipped clinical space room uh, with all the normal things that you'd see in your GP surgery. Um, yeah, and this is where the doctor or the nurse would assess uh, your family member, yourself, or somebody that you care about, um, and make sure that they're safe. You know, service user safety and service user well-being, and the ongoing health of the individual is key and paramount to what we do. So we'll take care of those needs initially. There might be prescriptions involved for medications such as methadone or buprenorphine, which help with opiate withdrawals. There might be nalmefene, a camprosate, um, chlordazepoxide for alcohol detoxification. They would be, would be provided to keep people safe and stable. And then we would go and look at what we call psychosocial interventions, which yeah, will give you gives me an opportunity to maybe show you the clinical board, which is where we could be looking at bloodborne viruses, we could be looking at smoking cessation, we could be looking at diet and, and sugar intake. So we move it around. Um, equality and diversity is really key. Everybody needs to feel welcome in this service, um, and we try to make it as inclusive as possible. Um, obviously, we've got the the LGBTQ flags up um, because we've had a big push on that and um, we're also looking at Black History Month this month and again we rotate the themes um, you know we might do Stop Tober, we might do Men's Mental Health you know we try to kind of be current and, and reflective of what's going on. We've got our group room there to start to help people to get connected and learn to communicate and express what's going on for them in a way that's healthy. Um, 
yeah i think that's about it really in terms of walk around the service but just as a kind of closing statement yeah this is a confidential service you can pick up the phone you can you can just have a conversation you don't have to commit to anything we can do a lot of stuff remotely now it's one of the positives that's come out of the covid pandemic we can do sessions on the phone we can do sessions on zoom we can do outreach and come to you we can see you in your gp surgery we just want you to feel like this is a service that you can access at any point or support your family member to do that um, at any time that you see is right for you. So thank you for taking the time to listen. Thank you.